campaigning groups opposing cuts and privatization fighting to save your local hospitals maternities mental health services GP practices it's incredible to see so many thousands of people here under sunny skies we stand here in defense of the NHS and in defiance of the apathy and desperation promulgated by our murderously cynical government I'm concerned that you are not being told what is happening to the NHS. That in fact in 2012 the NHS was legally abolished. I'm concerned that you don't know that since that time there have been a tidal wave of private companies taking over your NHS from the inside. And I am concerned that it is being misreported and spun that this is a good thing when I am telling you it leads to higher costs, fragmented, poorer quality care and must be resisted. We're here today during the biggest crisis the NHS has faced since its foundation. We're here today because the Red Cross has declared a humanitarian crisis in the NHS because wait times have reached the worst in history because hospital departments are shutting down up and down the, the country. We're here because patients are dying in corridors and because the NHS staff are overstretched, underpaid and they can't cope anymore. How proud I am to share a platform with the leader of our Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. A man a man who has fought for the National Health Service all his life and will continue to do so because of the decent, honest, principled man that he is. The police have advised us that there is 250,000 on this march. Every day you contribute to what is the most civilised institution in this country, the National Health Service. <laughs> Naiba Van said the NHS will last as long as there are folk left with the faith to fight for it. We've got the faith, we've got the fight and we're up for it. <laughs> Our NHS is not in crisis because of overspending. It's in crisis because of underfunding. A crisis made down there in Downing Street. Things has come about from a political choice made by a government that underfunds the National Health Service and social care when they know full well the resources are there to do it. This week, the budget will come out over there on Wednesday. We want that budget to properly fund 
our mainstream national health service, our social care system, and our crucial mental health services. All three of them. <laughs> Theresa May couldn't wait to get to the United States to discuss trade agreements with Donald Trump. I tell you this, we're gonna block any trade agreement that gives a, gives a green light for US healthcare companies to come here and strip out and take from our National Health Service. It's not for sale, it's not theirs to sell. It's ours for everybody in this country to keep. Our very presence here today helps to guarantee its future guarantees that we change the value system in favour of the people first, not profit, not the rich, not the tax dodgers. We know which side we're on, you know which side you're on, and you know how strong our endeavour, our determination and our principles are. Defend the NHS with all of your might. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here today.